The pole vault is a classic Olympic event. The U.S. has dominated the pole vault almost since its beginning. Um, early on in the pole vault, you were using bamboo poles, and you had to really be a gymnast trained because as you would come over, what you're supposed to do is clear the bar, not touch the bar, and land. And they used to land in sawdust, and most of the guys up until the 30s landed on their feet. And guess what? There were very few injuries. Since then, we've come up with all this protective um, matting and things like that, and we've got fiberglass poles, and there's some huge jumps. Sergey Buka has gone 20 feet, six inches. That is the best jump of all times. But we've got some great vaulters now on both the men and women's side in the U.S. We're going to talk about the men's side first. Um, one of the kids that's getting a lot of publicity is Toby Stevenson because he wears a helmet. And it's not because he's worried about getting hurt, but that one time that he makes a mistake, he wants to make sure that he's protected. I suggest all young vaulters wear helmets. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it's a safety issue. And the vault is one of those technical events where you need a good coach. Uh, the injuries happen, and most of them happen because of mistakes that can be avoided. But the vault is an exciting event to watch, to see people run as fast as sprinters, down 140 to 160 feet, then place their pole and catapult themselves over the top of the bar is really exciting to watch. These are the bucking bronco uh, riders of track and field. These are the wackiest. They're like a lot of them are surfers, a lot of them are skateboarders. In fact, that's where we find new vaulters They're from the skate profession and from the surfing profession as well. On the women's side, we're going to see something amazing. We're going to see Stacey Regila, who is really the champion, the, the historical woman who's put the vault on the map, uh, going against two, Fiofanova and Nisimbaeva. Those women have held the world record, I think, eight times between them in the last three years. My belief is Stacey's in the best shape of her life. She's changed her run-up. She's changed her psychological focus and she is the best tactician of them all. Most of all, she's a good chess player. The pole vault is not about who gets all the best clearances, it's about who takes the least amount of attempts to get those clearances. What happens in most world championships and most Olympics is someone will have a little um, hiccup early on in the competition where it'll take them two attempts to clear uh, a lower height. And if they all get to, for example, 15 feet, nine and a quarter, but one of them had two attempts at 14.6, that could be the difference between gold, silver, and bronze. It's going to be a very close and very exciting competition. My belief is the women's competition, the pole vault, will be better than the men's. So make sure that you watch it. The pole vault, again, a classic event. What we're trying to do is, using sprint speed, using gymnastic style, taking a fiberglass pole and catapulting yourself over the top of a barrier. What could be more fun? I'll talk to you from Athens about the pole vault and keep you updated at runningnetwork.com. Thank you.